e simplesmente uma das figuras mais lendárias do rock and roll. Língua até aqui, baba sangue, tamancos de caveira de macaco, etc, etc. É um monstro da música. Fez o que se tornou uma das bandas mais populares do mundo e com isso pintaram tributos ao Kiss. Tem um excelente que é o Hard to Believe da CZ Records, que tem Nirvana, tem Melvis, tem uma pá de banda, ele fala sobre isso também. Tem um outro que chama Flaming Youth, de bandas norueguesas. E saiu o mais recente agora, Kiss My Ass. Com bandas assim que não tem muito a ver, Extreme e tal, não tem muito a ver com Kiss. Mas enfim, tem boas versões, por exemplo, de Lenny Kravitz. Que a gente vai ver agora, Gene Simmons, falando exatamente dessas coletâneas e tributos. Vamos conferir agora, Gene. It actually started a couple of years ago, just as an idea that was being tossed around, because we kept noticing all these tribute bands uh, playing all over the world. Guys that would put on Kiss makeup and do the shows exactly like... It's uh, a very... little bounce? No, it's very flattering. I gotta say that when you see a band uh, take that much time and effort to do this stuff, I mean, it really, it really kicks your ass. But, I mean, it started to occur to me. I thought, you know, maybe, uh, it, wouldn't, maybe it wouldn't be a, ba a bad idea to record one of these bands doing the stuff. And we said, nah, because it's exactly the same versions as we do. And then you only sort of... Uh, compare the original to the copy and then we started seeing these uh, bootleg albums come out one was called hard to believe which was 25 cutting-edge bands doing kiss songs nirvana melvin's a lot of other bands and it was a bootleg we thought hey that's cool then there was a norwegian one that came out called flaming youth 16 norwegian bands doing kiss tunes and then uh, it started to get real and the title came first Kiss my ass, or is it for our southern neighbors? Kiss my eyes, and uh, and then we just let the word out, and we had over 50 artists 